guys, what is up? It's me, Looks by Lottie, and welcome to today's video. If this is your first time here on my channel, then welcome. I'm so glad to see you here today. Make sure to subscribe down below if you like videos about makeup. I post every Tuesday and Friday, and occasionally on Sundays. Although it's been a while since I've done that. If this is your second, third, fourth, or however many times you've been here, then welcome back. It's so good to see you again. Make sure to press that notifications bell down below so you never miss any of my videos. So today, as you read in the title, we are going to be doing a full face of Kaja Beauty. Now, I've been following Kaja Beauty for a while. I think since about October, November 2019 is when I made my first purchase. I actually have like a look where I did like a full face of Kaja Beauty back then. Yeah, that was a long time ago. There's almost no product that I've tried by Kaja Beauty that I didn't like. There's only like one like lip product that they created that I wasn't a fan of, but they don't even sell that anymore. So that's okay. And I actually am a Kaja Beauty brand ambassador. So that means that they send me products for me to try and review. And then I tell you guys whether I like it or not. I'm not like sponsored by them today. They're not telling me to do anything. I just genuinely love the products and I want to do a full face of them. And if you don't know, Kaja Beauty is actually a K-Beauty brand. They have a parent company called Meanbox who creates different brands such as I Do Care, which is very popular. I think you can actually get it at Ulta. I Meme, Nuni, and also Otzi. So a lot of great products, 100% recommend. And also all their products are like super cute. That's what got me into them in the first place, just because they had super cute products. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my base. Just, just, it's just like my foundation, nothing crazy. And I'll be back to you guys in a flash. All right, so I just have a CC cream on, nothing too crazy, but we're gonna go into our first product. So this is the Kaja Beauty Play Bento. And when I got it, they were actually out of my shade and I'm like, you know, the lightest shade. So I got the medium kind, which is Cloud Latte. And so we have a blush, very pretty, a highlighter, and a cream bronzer. We're gonna start things off today with the cream bronzer. I'm just gonna contour lightly, nothing too crazy, and then blend it out. I know it was weird for me to apply a cream with a powder brush, but listen, it worked. So it's fine. Now next is gonna be blush. Now I used this when I did a cream blush in my last video, which I'll put a link up there. But this is the Kaja Beauty Cheeky Stamp Blush in Shade Saucy. And all you gotta do, you take out the applicator and then there's like the little product in here. And then you stamp it and there it is. Yay. You do kind of have to blend it out quick though because it will kind of like stick and you can't really get it out of its like heart shape. But it's nice. And I'm gonna take whatever's left over on my, oh, this is also by Kaja Beauty. It's a little heart sponge, yay. But I'm just going to tap it onto my nose for a cutesy effect. Now I'm going to take the Kaja Beauty Concealer. This is specifically the Don't Settle Concealer. And I use the shade Sweet Rice. I'm just going to conceal in all my usual places. So Kasha Beauty doesn't have like an official setting powder, but they do have a powder. And I just use this to set my concealer. And today I'm gonna use the banana powder, but this is the Kasha Beauty joystick powder. And so all you have to do is you just like move this little thing, cause the powder's like, you know, at the bottom and then you screw it off and there it is. So like I said, I'm just gonna tap this in all the places that I concealed and I'm just gonna leave this on for a couple minutes and I'm just going to take this all off and set the rest of my face with my usual Maybelline Fit Me translucent setting powder. All 
All right, so now that my face is set, we are going to go into the eyes. For this look, I'm going to use two of my Kaja Beauty Bentos. This one is in Mocha Spritz, and this one is in Glowing Guava. I haven't used these in a while because I usually use my two all matte ones, but I decided to, you know, switch it up a little bit. So let me swatch the shades of Mocha Spritz real quick. Nice. And then here are the shades for Glowing Guava. One of those didn't swatch very well, but these are the colors we're working with today. Nice transition for fall to winter. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the darkest shade out of Glowing Guava and I'm going to go ahead and pop it in my crease. The lightest shade in the glowing guava palette, palette, bento, and lightly blend this out. Now we're going to take the darkest shade in Mocha Spritz, and I'm going to put a little bit of it in the crease, but mostly focus it on my lid. All right, now we're gonna do the opposite on my lower lash line. So darkest, the medium, then light shade. Yeah. Okay, Miss Smoky Eye living for it. Now usually you would do your liner and then your mascara but I want to show you how well this mascara works before I put on the liner and you can't see it anymore. So this is the Kaja Beauty Winky Lash Trio or is it Wink Lash Trio? This is their lash trio. There are three different mascaras in one. First we have a clear one which acts like a primer. Next we have a volumizing mascara and then we have a lengthening mascara. These are also uh, magnetic components, so they always just like click together, which I think is super cool because like, you know, there's three mascaras, but they are always together. You really can't lose one. <laughs> so I'm going to apply the mascaras onto this eye so that you can see the difference between my two eyes. to see from far away because of my shadow but I'm gonna bring you in close you can see the difference for sure let me do the other eye real quick and I'll be right back all right mascara is on so now it's ready to go into the eyeliner and you may have seen this before but this is super cool so this is part of a duo this is the wink stamp in the wing eyeliner pen so we have just a normal typical eyeliner pen here but this is an actual eyeliner stamp they have one side for right eye, one side for left eye, and all you have to do is just... And look at that a flawless wing. I'm going to first use a wing stamp and then use the wing liner to kind of clean up the eye and make it like, you know, nice and sharp and nice. Hopefully already having my mascara on won't affect it too much, but we'll see. Literally, all you gotta do is just line it up and then pop. Pop, there we go. <laughs> It's as easy as that. And then let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit. All right, it took a second, but I got it. Usually I do it a little better than this, I promise. All right, let's do the same thing on the left eye. For some reason I'm not doing it well today. So that's my bad. It's my bad. Let's 
Okay, am I a fan of this? Yes, I am. Am I the best at it? No, but that's okay. Real quick, since I do have this big liner on, I am gonna put on some lashes. So just give me one sec, I'll be right back. All right, we got some light lashes on, nothing too crazy, but we are actually almost done with this look. So I'm gonna go back into my play bento and first we're going to just take the blush shade and just reapply my blush because the blush kind of went away after I put the powder on it. Now we're gonna take the highlighter shade and highlight all the places that you usually highlight. Before that, I'm going to take what's left of this spray. This is specifically the Mist Me spray in Smell Pina Colada. It smells delicious. I'm so sad that it's on its last legs. I wish I smelled like that like all the time. Next for lips, we're going to take the Kaja Beauty Heart Melter Lipstick. This is in shade Crazy For You. And look, it's in the shape of a heart. And you just press the button like this. Isn't that nice? And now to finish everything off, we're going to go in with one of the mini gloss shots. This is in the shade Milk Tea. Let me change my outfit and give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, here is my final look. What are we thinking? I'm loving this little grungy vibe we got going on. It's like grungy, but also like a little bit of like pretty. What is your favorite Kaja Beauty product? Go ahead and let me know down below. Mine personally is probably the Wink Lash Trio because it just really makes a difference for my lashes or just any of the beauty bentos because we all know I love playing with eyeshadow. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I appreciate every single one of you. Now go ahead, leave a like and a comment. Make sure you subscribe and also turn on notifications so you know when I post my next upload. Alex, can we get some sushi? No. Please? Even if it's like $6? From where? The grocery store. The beauty bento. That, that's not a that's not a sushi style, Alex. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.